it's going to make complete sense when we use the CrossFit analogy. If you're going to teach someone to power clean, you don't give them the bar with weight on day one. You give them a PVC pipe, you tell them where they put their feet, and then you begin to work on it as a motor skill because we know they won't get hurt and they won't fail. Mm -hmm. And then we put a little more weight on it, a little more weight on it, a little more weight, and then we're able to kind of start to progress in that manner. That's what you do with living values. You don't just start tomorrow and say that, well, I'm going to be the super dad and I'm going to, and I'm going to do this with every day and every space in my life because you'll fail because you got a million other things going on. Not because you're bad, but you got a million other things going on. So you scale it. So I did this as it related to, to my emotion and my children and this idea of family. I got in control and got completely present with my kids in the car. I took the car back. Every time we got in the car, and we were in the car a lot, because I'm like shuttling them all over the place. Of course, turn the too. radio off, put put the phones away, and was super intentional in the car. I heard them. We 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 played. We got you know what? We played '80s music when they were little because I took them to school, and and we laughed and we had a great time in the car. And, and then I got really good. It became a habit for me. I got disciplined in the car. My brain was connected to them. Then I took back, when I got good at that, I took back Fridays. And if you ask my children now, they will tell you that Fridays were the greatest day on the planet with them. Oh, I love this Dad story. Was this is some practical super shit. In, super intentional on Fridays. But Brittany came to me one day, and this is when Starbucks was first coming out, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. Savannah, I'm an idiot. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, I, I, there's, I had so much to work on in my life. But she said something about, let's go to this Starbucks place and get a Java chip Frappuccino. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, Java chip Frappuccinos are for pussies. You know, that's where, this is the, how stupid I was as a human being, ego and all that. No, man, stop. We're going to Starbucks. That's what we're doing on Fridays. And I was business wise in a position where I was set up to do what I wanted to do on Fridays. So I, they were doing great in school. So I would take them out of school. We lived in Colorado. I would drive to Boulder. We'd go up to the University of Colorado. We went to every home soccer match that year because the girls were into soccer. And we celebrated Fridays. And what happened is by the time I took back control of the car and Fridays, it had become a habit in my life. I had developed it and I had been successful where I was able to do that in other areas or more areas of their life. And the value of family began to be authentic and it began to be automatic in my life. I knew who the hell I was as a father, what my identity was in their life. That value of family as it related to my children, I'd rather be dead than not operate in that space. And I got good at it over time, not by just deciding tomorrow I needed to be a super dad. 